as Hurricane Cristobal is bearing down on the uh, coast down here, stupidly, I decided today was going to be the best day to to come tell this story. Uh, honestly, I didn't really think about it ahead of time that Hurricane Cristobal might affect what I'm doing. It's, you can read by the title. Today we are going to be talking about the filming locations for the movie Jaws 2. It was released in 1978. Steven Spielberg was not at the helm of Jaws 2 as he was Jaws 1. Yeah, it was still a good film. Right after we get back from the intro, I'm going to talk about Hurricane Cristobal a little bit and what it's doing to this coast, and then we'll jump right into those locations. If you didn't notice the giant beach ball water tower behind me in that opening shot, it's the Pensacola Beach water tower. It's been a staple here at Pensacola Beach for many, 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 many years. It's important to note that Hurricane Cristobal made landfall yesterday and is coming this way. So. The wind is blowing super, oh, it almost blew my hat off my head. The pier is closed because of the heavy winds, but the beaches are open. I don't know if you can hear the wind or not, but if you can, I'm sorry. It's so windy right now, it's ridiculous. Look at the surf, look at the surges. And even with the threat of a hurricane looming, there's a lot, quite a few people out here on the beach. Surprisingly, I thought the beaches would be empty. But, look at this. It's blowing me sideways. That's how hard the wind is blowing. It's hard to walk straight. That surf is just incredible right now. Absolutely incredible. Oh no. move on though because there's more beachfront locations ahead obviously because Cristobal's coming in and conditions are pretty rough out here right now it's a red flag do not enter the Gulf out today in Novara Beach, Florida. Even though Hurricane Cristobal is bearing down, the wind's blowing really hard, I can't let it stop me because I drove several hours to get here and uh, I'm not going to waste that. So we're just going to hop right in to the video. Some people say the Jaw sequels didn't need to be made. And I mean, if you think about it, at the end of Jaws 1, there was no unresolved issues. They even killed the shark. But they spent $9 million making 
the original Jaws movie. And it grossed $470 million in the box office. So anytime you can make $461 million doing something, of course you're going to try to repeat it. Thus, we got Jaws 2. It is very widely publicized that the original Jaws was filmed in Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts. A lot of people don't know that at the very end of filming, they only had a few scenes left to shoot. They were plagued by weather problems and they couldn't get the shots done. So they went looking for an alternative. Well, they found one in Navarra Beach, right here where I'm standing. They only shot a couple of scenes of open water scenes here. And it was even uncredited in the original Jaws credits. So, so before Jaws 2 was even greenlit, they knew they were gonna incorporate more of Navarra Beach because of the warm water and kind of as a, to say thank you for Florida letting them finish filming and not giving them credit. So in the movie Jaws 2, there are some scenes where one scene will actually take place in Massachusetts and the very next scene will be right here in Florida and you would never knew the difference. For example, there is a scene where Brody drives down a road, he turns and boards a ferry. The ferry starts crossing the water. Well then the very next scene shows Brody driving off the ferry. All of those scenes were filmed in Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts. And then the scene cuts to Brody driving up on to the beach. That scene was filmed right here. He drove right over the beach right here. Obviously this was in 1978. It has changed a lot since then. But he drove right on to the beach here where he parked his truck. He got out and they were having the benefit dinner at the Amity Shores Holiday Inn is what it was called. That used to sit right here. It was a real Holiday Inn. It was called the Holodome Holiday Inn. It had pools on the inside of it, right in the middle of it. You can actually see in the movie on this uh, round platform on the beach side there, you can see all the people dancing on top of it right there in the movie. Unfortunately, in 2004, Hurricane Ivan destroyed the Holodome, the Holodome Holiday Inn and they had to demolish it, thus leaving this empty lot that you see here. But this is the exact spot. That all happened right there. Much like a lot of the filming location videos I've done in the past, say for example, Forrest Gump, Stranger Things, all of those, the locations jump around quite a bit. So in order for us to get the filming locations that took place down here, we've got to jump around too. Check out this uh, dome house over there. That's just awesome. Another example of this movie magic. At one point, you see Brody walking down the street. None of this will look familiar. That's because he's originally walking down the street in Massachusetts there in Martha's Vineyard. He walks right past the, uh, the hardware store from the first Jaws movie. Well, then the camera cuts to a different angle and you see him walk right past this building here, here. coming to the Amity Town Hall which was this building right here. So just before he gets to this building, and you can clearly see this in the movie, you can see the fence. There was a thing right up here above the door that's not there anymore, some kind of little sign. But they cut right before he gets in front of this building. He's coming right here. This was the Amity town hall in Jaws 2. This house pretty much looks the same still. 
the exception of the sign being gone from above the door there it looks exactly the same as all of the teenagers head out on their sailboats at the very beginning of the third act they pass by a boat just out sitting in the middle of the water it's full of scuba divers they're all about to dive into the ocean to do some exploring they actually go out on this boat right here this exact boat minus this top section it was taken off for filming well the rest of us the same the aquanaut and you can even see the, its name in the movie you can see this right here on the back of it in the movie brody also these weren't here at the time but you can also see brody walks right down the pathway here and there's a there's boats in these spots here but that's it This location where the Aquanaut sits with all the boats and everything, it was actually used a whole lot in the movie. Across the way, over there, they put up a cardboard cutout of a lighthouse. And every time they're getting on their boats or leaving from the dock here you can see that cardboard cutout all of that was filmed right here but at one time there was a building sitting right here on the spot that was called captain dave's seafood sadly it was destroyed in hurricane opal many 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 years ago Captain Dave Seafood was sitting right there when they filmed the movie in 1978. And right here, this was at one point in time the Hog's Breath Saloon. The Hog's Breath Cafe is still in existence. They have now closed the Hog's Breath Saloon though. This is the bar. They showed the kids inside of the bar, eating at the bar. Hey, mate. I saw your dad over at town hall. I know. There was like a really huge cash register inside of there. Hey, Ellen. You know this is the only dump in town where the garbage man delivers? That's it. All those interior scenes were filmed right here inside of this building. But for whatever reason, they've shut it down. Closed until further notice. The end of the movie with the cable junction took place right out here in the water in front of me. Basically what they did was they tied two barges together and they built that cable junction platform right out here in the ocean. Cable junction's ahead. Make it? I don't know. Hey, I was just asking. They had those barges out over here in the ocean and they filmed all that scene out there. And we know this because in the background of that shot, you can see this water tower. Plain as day. It was com just completely fabricated just for the movie. They put two barges together and built that whole rock formation up around it and that has the power cable connected to it it's all fabricated right out here in the gulf of mexico right off navarra beach now i have moved on to fort pickens national seashore in pensacola florida for the final locations of the day this beach was used and seen a lot in jaws 2 and some of those scenes were pivotal plot points of the movie for example, they built a lighthouse just for the movie, a working lighthouse. The teenagers frequent the lighthouse and the surrounding beach to hang out. They built that lighthouse right here. Another pivotal scene, they're here at this lighthouse and they find a whale. It has a giant shark bite taken out of its head 
and Brody comes and there's the whole scene where they're investigating it. That was also filmed right here next to it. Along with those water tower scenes, they also filmed a bunch of scenes out in the water facing this direction, facing this beachhead as well. Between the beachfront here where I am and the docks where we saw the Aquanaut earlier in this video, those two locations were featured the most throughout Jaws 2. That is it. That are all, well, half of them are gone, but that are all the locations remaining from the movie Jaws 2. Man, it's 1978 to 2020 it's been a long time so you know a lot of the a lot of the places just didn't make it that's going to do it for this episode though i want to thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate it as always if you want to help support the channel check out the links down in the description box below you can also follow me on instagram twitter or facebook at real bama mike I really appreciate it. If you're new here, make sure to click that subscribe button and hit the bell notification. That way you don't miss any uploads. Thank you all. I will see you again tomorrow. I hope you all have a great day. Please stay safe and stay healthy.